Hi everyone, my name is Whitney and I am a dental hygienist. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Let's talk about what to do if you chip or break a tooth. And before we jump in, let me quickly remind you about my website, teethtalkgirl.com. If you're ever looking for a specific dental topic, I have a search bar where you can easily find what you're looking for. And also my Instagram, at teethtalkgirl. Okay, so you chipped or broke your tooth. First things first, let's figure out how serious it is because there are so many different scenarios for this. Sometimes it's such a small little chip that you can barely see it, but you do feel it with your tongue. If this is the case, it can be super annoying, right? Your tongue is going to go straight toward that area of the chipped tooth. So in this case, totally call your dentist to schedule an exam. They will get you in when they can. When they do get you in, it might be something as simple as polishing it to make it smooth, or maybe you'll need a small bonding or filling, usually not a big emergency, but it's always recommended to call your dentist and let them know what's going on so they can schedule you accordingly. Now, if you have a serious emergency where your tooth totally broke off or got knocked out, you're in pain, anything like that, quick action is essential. The sooner you get it looked after, the better your options will be. So if it's a serious break or injury, I can't stress enough that you should call your dental office immediately. Tell them what happened and explain your situation. If your office is closed, still call. Most of the time they will have an emergency number on their answering service or they will refer you to another office that they know is open. Again, if it's not a serious break or injury, you should still call your dentist. They just probably won't need to see you right away like if it were an emergency. So what to do during a tooth breaking emergency. And this is good to know, even if this hasn't happened to you, just in case it ever does happen to you. Hopefully it doesn't, but maybe you'll be at a party one day or something and someone else's tooth gets knocked out and you'll be like, hey, I know what to do. I watched a video about this and you can save someone's tooth. So first is to locate the fragment. If the tooth fell out or most of the tooth got knocked out, find the piece of the tooth. Now, if it's a whole tooth with the root still attached, try not to touch the root only handle it by the crown. That's the part of the tooth that you can see when you smile. If the fragment is on the larger slide, usually like larger than a sliver, there is a chance that the dentist can bond it back to the rest of your tooth. Fragments of broken teeth or full teeth that fell out should be kept moist at all times. So the best way to store them is in a sealed container with a lid and try to make sure it's completely covered with one of these tooth safe liquids. Saline or contact solution, tap water with a pinch of salt, or saliva if you're up to the challenge. Some people will go as far as to hold the tooth inside of their cheek to keep it coated in their saliva. However, now you're at a high risk of accidentally swallowing it, so this option is only if you're desperate and you don't have access to anything else. Pro tip, do not scrub your tooth clean. It's okay to hold it gently under running tap water to rinse away any visible debris and make sure you close the drain so you don't accidentally drop it into the plumbing. But the better option is to place it directly into a storage container. By now, you or someone you're with should have already called or talked with the dentist. Hopefully they can get you in for an appointment at the office within the next couple of hours. Studies show that the sooner a tooth is reattached or reinserted, the better the prognosis will be. So I can't stress enough that when you call your dentist simultaneously to doing all this tooth prep stuff at home, it would be great if someone could do all this tooth prep stuff and someone else could be calling the dentist at the same time. Similar to 911 situations, right? Everyone should have different jobs during the emergency to make sure things go smoothly. But yes, when you call your dentist, like I said, make sure you explain your situation so they can best appoint you. Now, what happens if you got knocked in the face, but your tooth didn't fall out, but you do notice that it is loose? What do you do? A blow to the mouth may not break your tooth enamel, but it could seem to loosen the tooth. My best advice is to not attempt wiggling your teeth to feel how loose they are. Since your teeth are held in place by tiny ligaments surrounding the tooth, which attach to the gum and bone tissue, further wiggling could make the loose tooth even worse. So again, I know I sound like a broken record. I keep repeating this, I'm sorry, but call your dentist and tell them what happened, no matter which scenario you have. They'll help put your mind at ease and rule out any possible risk factors associated with your unique case. If there is bleeding, use a clean cloth or gauze to apply firm pressure to the area for several minutes. Severe bleeding that doesn't subside, such as from a blow to the face or a serious injury, should be addressed by a medical provider ASAP. In that case, if it won't stop bleeding, of course, head to your nearest emergency room. In all, the most important thing to do, whether you chip a tooth, break a tooth, a tooth gets knocked out, or you feel that your tooth is suddenly loose, the most important thing is to stay calm and really focus on communicating your situation with your dentist. 
Again, if you're watching this video, not during a tooth emergency, you're just watching to watch, that's so great because now you have this information in the back of your mind, hopefully never, but if this ever happens to you or someone you know. And lastly, let's talk about what will happen at the dentist once you get there. Like I said, the type of treatment your dentist recommends will of course come down to the severity of your fracture, the size of the chipped area, how far the fracture extends down into your root, and the amount of pain that you're in. But generally, your dentist will first need to take an x-ray to evaluate the integrity of the root and the nerve to make sure there aren't any fractures or infections that might not be visible during an exam. At that point, your dental provider will discuss what options are available and which one is most appropriate for the level of damage that's been done. All of that being said, here are the most common treatments for a chipped tooth. One, tooth reattachment. Your dentist can use bonding material to help glue the piece back onto your tooth. Again, this option is more likely to be successful if you kept the tooth safe and liquid, like we talked about earlier, and you got to the dentist within a couple hours of it happening. Two, smoothing the tooth. Like we said again, if the fracture is small, but it's irritating your lips or cheek or tongue, your dentist may just smooth it off instead of covering it. Three, bonding. Sometimes the situation will call for a tooth colored composite to be shaped over the chip to rebuild the structure. Same concept as a filling. Four, porcelain veneer. In some cases, cosmetic restorations that cover the visible front surface of your tooth will be recommended. In other cases, five, dental onlays. Three quarter crowns are lab made fillings that restore larger areas of tooth, but are smaller than a full cap. Six, dental crowns or caps. This is a restoration that covers your entire tooth, creating a new layer on the outside that's resistant to wear and protects the underlying structure. Seven, root canal therapy, endodontics. If the nerve is exposed on your tooth, a root canal will prevent pain and abscessing. Eight, extraction. Non-restorable teeth may need to be pulled. Extractions are sometimes recommended for emergency pain relief. Of course, you'll then need to decide if you want a future tooth replacement plan or not. I do have a video more about the different tooth replacement options if extraction was your only choice, but please remember that's only for a serious chip or fracture or knocked out tooth. Most of the time, small chips can easily be made smooth by polishing them or putting a little filling on them. Thank you all for watching. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe if it did. And until next time, peace love and teeth.